Let's talk about what happened today uh, with Joe Biden, along with the First Lady Jill Biden. In one specific phone call, a father of four named Jared made it awkward and political. And uh, just listen to this. I hope you have a wonderful hey, Christmas. Well, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as well. Oh, Merry thank Christmas you. and let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Biden doesn't even know what the hell is going on or where he is, but that won't stop CNN from putting on a hypocritical theatrical performance of outrage. Let's go, Brandon, for those yeah. who don't know, is slang for F Joe Biden. Uh, no, once again, CNN is spreading misinformation. Let's Go Brandon was made up by an NBC reporter who was trying to deceitfully cover up what people were actually chanting, which was F Joe Biden. Brandon, you also told me, as you can hear the chants from the, the crowd, Let's go, Brandon. What does it tell you that somebody is rude like that and disrespects the office of the president to his face uh, about the political climate in this country? Yeah, look, I, you know, it's ungracious, it's juvenile, it's reprehensible by the father. Uh, but I don't think it's fundamentally about incivility. I think it is fundamentally about insurrection. 2017, F Trump. 2018, F Trump. 2019, F Trump. 2020, F Trump. 2021, let's go, Brandon. This is dangerous to our democracy. Seriously? An insurrection? I know the urge to laugh here is strong, but there's nothing really funny about the so-called protectors of democracy legitimately proposing that mocking Joe Biden is tantamount to declaring war on the United States, making anybody uttering this joke an enemy of the state. Yeah, that's always the sign of a legitimate popular leader and not at all an authoritarian. I've got a lot to say about this clip, but first, give me just a minute to tell you about this special coin offer for my viewers. Now, I know not everyone's interested in precious metals IRAs or 401k rollovers. Some people are happily putting their life savings on the stock market. Some people are launching themselves into property investments. Some like the idea of cryptos or leveraged investments. All at what looks like the top of the market. What could go wrong? With the supply chain issues, inflation on the way, and unemployment climbing, isn't it all a bit risky? And don't even get us started on the $25 trillion in debt. If you've been thinking about investing safer so you can retire comfortably and sleep at night, it might be time to talk to Noble Gold about the tax advantages and other pluses of those precious metal IRAs. Of course, you might just love uncertainty, but if you don't, this month, Noble Gold are giving away a free America the Beautiful solid silver five ounce coin with any qualifying IRA you start. Call us at 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Or you can just find the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. But the, the whole Let's Go Brandon kind of motif is a reflection of the view two thirds of the Republican uh, base driven by Trump's claims, uh, false claims, and the big lie that Biden is an illegitimate president. This is a manifestation not just of incivility, but of the fundamental view of the illegitimacy and the ominous shores that we're kind of sailing toward very quickly. No, 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 please, 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 no, 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 not that. Yes, that. <laughs> This is just insane, especially since in my adult life, every single election that Democrats have lost, they claimed was illegitimate. For eight years, they claimed the Bush administration was illegitimate, and a lot of people in the media refer to it as the Bush regime. Let's go to the Reverend Al Sharpton. The Reverend Sharpton, what do you make of this letter and this panoply of the left condemning the Bush regime? Emily's got a great one tonight. The Bush regime rhetoric gets goofier and more desperate every day. If you look at our website, Chris, votenader.org, you'll see how we take a, apart the book, uh, the Bush regime in ways that the Democrats should emulate. You would agree, though, that the middle class hasn't fared quite as well under the Bush regime as... Oh, uh, but I am interested in to know why you didn't speak up earlier, like before the midterm in 2006. The Bush regime was still in power. You just talked about how many jobs were created. George Bush's regime 
Only one million jobs have been created. Then Trump gets elected and they claim Russia stole the election and that Trump is a Russian agent. Which leads me to another CNN simp who lacks any semblance of self-awareness. If you think it's appropriate to tell somebody, anyone really, to go F themselves after they gave your kids the time of day on Christmas Eve, it says a lot more about your personal character than anything else. That is all. But he didn't tell anybody to go F off. He said, let's go Brandon. To very different things. Yeah, this guy is a CNN White House correspondent, supposedly an objective, just the facts reporter, but clearly this guy is emotional about this. Yet when Trump was president, this is what the exact same guy had to say. Per puller John Carl, the president was greeted with many middle fingers and raised fifth as his motorcade made its way. The exact same guy had absolutely no problem with the fact that his own network had nothing but praise for a free play in Central Park that depicted Trump's assassination. The rest of the media similarly lost their minds to the point that this father is now receiving death threats, incited by a media that quickly moved on from that racist Christmas parade massacre that they also incited. Just more reason to turn them off, stop buying the products from their sponsors, and support channels like mine so I can keep calling them out. You can do that by using one of the links in the description or pinned comment. Well, that's all I have for this one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments.